If you're watching this video, you may have been prescribed zoledronate, also called zoledronic acid, or its brand name, a cluster, as your osteoporosis medicine. This video will hopefully help you if you're waiting for your infusion, or if you're deciding if it's right for you. The idea of having a drip, infusion is the medical term, can be worrying for some people. But having a zoledronate infusion is an easy and straightforward procedure. Zoledronate is an osteoporosis medicine that makes your bones stronger and reduces your chance of breaking a bone. Bones are made up of living tissue. The inside of our bones is constantly being broken down and rebuilt by specialist bone cells. As long as this process is in balance, your bones should stay healthy and strong. But if the process becomes out of balance, our bodies can start to break down more bone than we build. This can cause the bones to become weaker and more likely to break easily. Zoledronate works by slowing down the cells that break down bone. This helps to restore the balance and make your bones stronger. It's given once a year, usually for a course of three years, and then your doctor will consider if you should move on to a new medicine or continue with more zoledronate. The infusion is given in hospital, but it's usually in the outpatient's department, and you don't need to stay for very long. The actual infusion process takes no longer than 30 minutes. Our volunteer, Maggie, has kindly given us her time to share her experience of treating osteoporosis with zoledronate and explain the process so you can get a feel for what happens. It's worth saying that the process might be slightly different for you as every hospital will have its own setup, but this will give you a good sense of what happens. After I was diagnosed with osteoporosis back in 2002, I was originally recommended alendronate or alendronic acid. After around six years of taking alendronate, I was moved on to strontium ranolate because my doctor believed this would be more effective for strengthening my bones. Unfortunately, the strontium ranolate didn't really suit me. It has to be taken each night before bed on an empty stomach and at least two hours after eating, which just didn't fit with my lifestyle. I managed to see a rheumatologist about my issues with strontium and they recommended zoledronate, which is a blood infusion that you have once a year. Now the term blood infusion might sound scary, but it's just a drip bag they connect to a vein in your arm with a small needle, like the ones you see on TV all the time. Apart from a moment of mild pain when the needle is inserted, the actual infusion process is painless. When you arrive at the unit for your infusion, you will usually be directed to the waiting area. There, a nurse will check your heart rate, blood pressure, temperature and blood oxygen saturation. This is to check you're in good health and ready for the infusion. You will then be brought into the procedure or ward room. A nurse will go through a pre-injection checklist with you, which helps to confirm that the treatment is safe to go ahead. You can use this time to ask any questions you might have or share any concerns. A cannula will then be inserted into your arm. This is a needle which can be attached to the zolendronate infusion drip. The needle can cause a moment of discomfort as it's inserted, but once it's in, the process is painless. Saline solution, a mix of water and salt, will be run through the cannula to make sure it's clear for the medicine. A nurse will prepare the infusion drip in a different room, following strict hygiene and dosage requirements to make sure the injection is safe. The medicine will then be double checked by a senior nurse to ensure the dosage is correct and it's been prepared properly. Once you're comfortable, the infusion drip will be connected to the cannula. You won't feel the infusion taking place, but you will be able to see the infusion drip bag slowly empty. The infusion can take between 15 and 30 minutes, so you may want to bring something with you to help pass the time. Once the infusion is finished, the cannula will be carefully removed. If it's your first infusion, you will be asked to stay for a short period afterwards to check if you experience any side effects.
Honestly, I was quite happy with the recommendation. The idea of getting a whole year's worth of medicine in one go was very appealing. It seemed like a better fit to my lifestyle. I had seven infusions so far between 2013 and 2024. I only had mild flu-like symptoms after the most recent one, but I took some paracetamol, rested, and I was fine by the next day. I've been told, though, that if you do experience these side effects, it's very unlikely you'll experience them again. So if you have side effects after your first infusion, try not to let this put you off your next one. Overall, I'm very happy. It's a lot easier than taking weekly or daily medicines. Plus, my hospital visits are actually quite pleasant. I get tea, biscuits and friendly chats with the nurses and other patients. If you've been recommended Zoledronate, I'd say talk to the doctor who recommended Zoledronate if you're unclear or unsure about anything. If they're a specialist like a rheumatologist, they'll be able to help. If it was your GP, they'll have access to information that can help and can also direct you to more information. You should make sure you drink plenty of water the day before your infusion and on the day of the infusion. This can help you avoid the flu-like symptoms afterwards and isn't always mentioned by the hospital staff. I hope hearing a bit about my experiences has helped you to feel confident about your own decision.